I've traveled back in time 145 million years to the time of Allosaurus. Whoa, and there's one now. He seems to be more interested in that poo down there than me. the call it makes when there's another Allosaurus nearby. And there it is. Oh, it looks a lot bigger than he does. Oh, I'd be careful. I think he's trying to scare him off. Giving up. I'd watch out. Oh, that must have hurt. Is he off to? Wait for me. I'm going to follow him. He might lead me to some salt flats. We're not going to get very far at this speed. Why is he limping? Oh, of course, poor thing. He must have hurt himself in the fight. Oh, no, wait a minute. That's why he's limping. He's got a thorn stuck in his foot. If he lets me get close enough, I can probably help him. Easy. Just trying to help. There we go. Coral is very special. Even though it may not look it, coral is in fact a living animal. It's very important that I don't touch the coral, as that can damage or even kill it. So, I'll have to be extra careful. Oh, and look at all these fish! There must be a tusk fish around here somewhere. Aha! There's one! Look at those teeth! They look just like tusks, don't they? Oh, I can see where they get their name from. Now, I've heard you have a collection of broken shells. I was just wondering if you would let me have some. As long as you don't need them, that is. Oh, looks like we're off. Wait for me. Ah, this is the life. Swimming along the Great Barrier Reef with a tusk fish by my side. Hmm, where's he taking me, I wonder? Hopefully, to his stash of broken shells. Hmm, that's strange. He's fanning the sand with his fin. He's definitely looking for something. Wow, he's very strong. Oh, I see. That's what he's been searching for, a clam. That's the type of shell I'm looking for. But it's the broken ones I'm after. Hmm, well, where's he taking it? Let's go and find out. What's that strange-looking coral up ahead? 
It looks like a huge bowl. The tusk fish is heading straight for it. Oh, he's bashing the clam against that bump on the coral. I think he's trying to crack open the shell. He must be hungry for what's inside. He's very determined. Look how he's using his teeth to grip onto the clam. What a clever fish! It's not so easy when you don't have hands. Uh, let me get that for you. Keep trying, little fish. You're doing great. Almost there. Hooray! You've done it! Ah, oh, for a moment I thought it was a bird. But it's not. It's a pterosaur. And this one is called an Ornithochirus. Look, he's eating his fish. He just gobbled it down, didn't even chew. What was that? It's Iguanodon. He's warning the other Iguanodon. No wonder. Look, it's a hungry Utah Raptor. It looks like the Iguanodons are on the menu. Come on, run faster. Nice turn. He seems to be coming this way. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was lucky! This is brilliant! Not only am I getting a lift, but one of the largest flying animals that ever lived. But we're also flying over some thick forest. Come on, all of the Kairas! Let's land! Watch out below! Here we come! Easy now. That's it. Nice and gentle. That. Oh, oh, oh. oh, wow. That wasn't the smooth landing I was looking for. Oh. That sounds promising. Birds! Okay. You stay here, get yourself some water. I'll be back later for a lift. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna go find me a feather. We've been following the bird song around this forest for a while now, and all of a sudden it's just stopped. Great, what did that? It's an Iberomazonis! And they're blue, just like Hattie thought they would be. Okay, I think I've got an idea. It's a blue feather! Wait for me! It's certainly quick. I wonder what scared it. Uh-oh. I know what. It's a pyjama shark. And they like to eat octopus. You can see why it's called a pyjama shark. It looks like it's wearing stripy pyjamas. Huh. A bit like Mr. Hammond. Wait a minute. That's it. Our octopus back at Safari World must have mistaken Mr. Hammond for a real-life pyjama shark. If I can find out where this octopus is going to hide, then my mystery will be solved. Wait for me. Quick, 
It's coming. We need to take cover. Um, oh, over there. Why aren't you hiding? The shark's coming. You can't stay out in the open. Huh? What's it up to with those shells? Shells won't protect you from a shark, surely. Whoa, are you seeing what I'm seeing? The octopus has suction pads on its tentacles, and it's using them to hold up the shells all around it. It's hidden in plain sight. Now that is a great idea. I need a shell, and fast. Oh, there's one. That'll do nicely. Ah, uh, uh. uh, that's better. I hope this works. That's amazing. The pajama shark must be really confused. It can probably smell us, but it can't see us anywhere. It's just swimming around in circles. Look! Yes! It's leaving! It didn't see us! Out you come, buddy! I'll just pop that back. See you later, Octopus! Thanks for showing me how you hide. Hide? Wait a minute. That's it! The octopus back of Safari World must be hiding under a pile of shells just like this one did. I've got to tell Jen. <gasps> oh no. The shark's coming back. And I've been spotted. I need to get out of here. Setting Aquapack to high speed mode. Here goes. Perfect. Opening dive hatch. Jen, I think I might know where our octopus is hiding. Where, Andy? Ah, right. <laughs> this shouldn't take long. I'm pretty good at fishing. Just like Hattie's. Come on, come on. <gasps> is that what I think it is? It's a seal of vices. You know, I'm too big for him to eat, but he does look hungry. Oh, he spotted the fish. There he goes. He's moving really slowly. The fish will never see him coming. gonna catch that. I have to admit, he's pretty good at catching fish. Oh great, I can't use that one now. He's eaten half of it. Oh. It's not easy keeping up with these two-legged dinosaurs. What's he doing? He's digging for something. And whatever it is, he's found it. What is that? It's a lungfish. That's the fish I'm after. It says here that unlike most fish, lungfish can actually breathe air. When the river's too low, they bury themselves in the ground, covered in a protective skin. And since he's already eaten one, he might give this one to me. Oh, there it is. 
Oh, that was easy. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Whoa. Oh. Hang on. I think his friends are after my fish. Now, your friend gave me this fish. Uh, it's for Hattie's display, so nice coelophysis. Hey, come back with my fish! some walrus pups. They don't have much room either. There must be another place that the mums can take care of them. What's that growling sound? It's another polar bear. And this one looks hungry. Oh, the walruses don't seem too happy either. They're starting to stampede. Watch out, guys. Don't squash the little ones. Coming through! Oh. oh, now what? They can't stay in the water all day. And they can't go back on land with that polar bear still hanging around. What are they going to do? Wait a second. Icebergs! That's it! They're all climbing onto little icebergs. They must feel much safer from the polar bears on there. And they won't get squashed by all the other walruses. So that's what we need back at Safari World. More icebergs. Oh, hang on. It looks like they don't want to share. Oh! It's Jen. Hi, Jen. Andy, have you found out where the walrus mothers raise their pups? It's getting really out of control here. Well, I think I might have the answer, Jen. We need more icebergs. Icebergs? I've got an idea. I can adjust the temperature here in the Arctic Dome, which will create icebergs. Great. Sounds like a plan. It doesn't help me here, though. That mum and her pup have nowhere to go. Andy, my scans indicate there's an iceberg not being used just over to your right. Oh, I see it. Thanks, Jen. Over here, you two. There's a nice little iceberg for you both. Come on. Yes, this will be perfect. Come on, you two. That's it. Over here. Oh, oh look. Mum's using her tusks to pull herself up. Oh, how clever is that? Come on, little one. You can do it. Yes, made it. They'll be nice and safe up here. Wow. Great. Ooh. I think I'll dry off first and then head back to Safari World. See you later, walruses. Oh, that smell. It stinks. Maybe there's something in Hattie's backpack I can cover my nose with. Hmm. Oh, here's my sandwich for later on. Oh, what's this? That's what I was looking for. Brilliant. Oh, that's better. Although it is a good thing that the smell's getting stronger, it does mean that we're closer to the... To the volcano. I just need to get even closer before that T-Rex over there comes and gets me. T-Rex? It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it says here that there were not only one of the most massive meat eaters to have ever lived, but also had a great sense of smell and fantastic eyesight. Although, he doesn't seem to be interested in me. More Hattie's backpack. What's he want with that? I can't let him take that. 
Excuse me? Uh, excuse me, hello? Uh, can you put that down, please? Oh. oh, that was easy. Too easy. Uh, friendly dinosaur. <laughs> Lovely dinosaur. With razor sharp teeth. A hungry look in his eye. Oh, maybe I'll just pretend I'm not here. Huh? No, that doesn't belong to you. That's Hattie's. Come back! What do you even want it for? That's Hattie's. Come back! There he is. He's tied himself out. He's fast asleep. Wish me luck. something in here that he wants. My sandwich. My meaty sandwich. This is what he's after. Are you hungry? Look at this. A Brachiosaurus taking a bath and a Stegosaurus behind. There's two of them now. What's that in the water? It's an Othnelia. That's it, buddy. Not far to go now. <laughs> oh, those plates really are huge. Can't see any bright colours, though. I might need to get a bit closer. one of these stegosaurus would change colour soon. Their plates change colour when they scare off other dinosaurs, so I need to find an angry one. Oh, he's off again. Stegosaurus is big, but not as big as Brachiosaurus. The dinosaurs are big though. The Othnelia are following the Stegosaurus so they can eat the cycad bushes that he's crushing underneath his feet. But they don't seem to annoy him. Not enough for him to change the colour of his plates anyway. Hmm. Maybe something else will. I'm going to follow him. Dinosaurs are called Eustreptospondylus. They're five meters long and they're meat eaters too. And this one is after me.
Huh? The beach is covered with pterosaurs. And another hungry you strapped a spondylus. The clock. I've got no time. How am I going to get back to the clock now? Hat backpack. It's always full of useful things. A map. How's that going to help me here? I know exactly where I am. I'm in trouble. Unless... If you strep the spondylus, lights catching flying things, like those pterosaurs up there, then he's gonna love this! Oh. I mean, this! This should distract him. Okay, here we go. It's working! Okay, now's my chance. Time to head back! Now this one, the babies have already left. But this one looks in good shape. And I think I can hear a sound coming from inside. There's a hole! Allosaurus eggs! And I can hear the babies chirping from inside the eggs! Here he comes! I think he's calling for his mother. Hang on. Where is its mother? There's another one. Oh, oh. oh and that will be their mum. Um, I'm just gonna. Whoa, that was close. size of those claws. It's not going to take her long to get to her babies. Here comes one now. Oops. Oh. And they are all the brothers and sisters. Now hopefully they should be off to get some food soon. But first, it looks like it's playtime. What's that one spotted? Two hungry ornithalestes. I think they might be after the babies. I need to get the mother's attention. She scared them away. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Andy's Amazing Adventures. There's lots to see and so many amazing creatures to meet along the way. So don't forget to hit subscribe. Come on, let's go.